गुड मॉर्निंग इंडिया येस आई सेट गुड मॉर्निंग इंडिया सो चलन येस्टडे वी स्टार्टेड विद द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ आर चैप्टर ग्लिम्स ऑफ इंडिया राइट एंड द टाइटल ऑफ द चैप्टर वॉज अ बेकर फ्रॉम गोवा सो आफ्टर रीडिंग दैट चैप्टर यू नो वी गॉट अ फेयर इन साइट इन टू द कस्टम्स ट्रेडिशंस द ब्रेड सेलिंग ट्रेडिशन Uh, the outfit and many more things about goan people right so how they used to love those loaves of bread how children wanted to eat those bread bangles and uh, that bread seller was called pedder there in goa right so uh, the people have inherited uh, the tradition of making breads in the furnaces from their ancestors and the business is Uh, still a flourishing one that is in goa right so children today i'm going to take you to a more beautiful place that is kurg kurg is the name of a place that is in karnataka at present so reading the text uh, you would get a better understanding midway between mysore and the coastal town of mangalore sits a piece of heaven that must have drifted from the kingdom of god you know kingdom of god exactly means the place where god resides not literally but you know when you see the pictures when you see some of the images uh, clicked there of the place kurk you would really really begin to think of visiting the place This land of rolling hills is inhabited by a proud race of martial men, beautiful women, and wild creatures. It means this place that is in the form of rolling hills, unfolded by hills, is inhabited by a proud. It means the people of Kurg are a proud race of martial men, the one, the ones who know martial art, right? As we see in movies, martial men. the uh, women are beautiful and the creatures are wild wild in appearance and their attitude you know kurg is also known as kodagu so that's the smallest district of karnataka smallest district of karnataka that is a home to evergreen forests spices and coffee plantations right so evergreen rain forests cover 30% of the district you know during the monsoons it pours enough to keep many visitors away the season of joy commences from means starts from september and it continues till march right the weather is perfect with uh, some showers thrown in for good measure uh, the air breathes of invigorating coffee you know spreading the sweet smell of coffee so coffee estates and colonial bungalows stand tucked under tree canopies uh, in prime corners canopies you know roof like coverings right uh, under which uh, the shelter can be formed right so see children what beautiful description of kurg has been given by the writer and definitely i'll try to take you to the place virtually yes this this beautiful and charming place this is what we call kurg and that is in karnataka see lush green ground covered with numerous trees and offering a really worth seeing scenery one would never feel that other time is wasted uh, by seeing these pictures even the pictures itself uh, you know give us an invitation to visit the place so see another one of them the pathways the greenery is so much so much that uh, one is you know charmed by it one one gets spelled by it see another view of kurg how the vegetation is glowing how the roads are so clean and uh, you know a kind of peace a kind of calm uh, you know region it is see uh, one of the pictures of kurg so much of vegetation another one a very beautiful picture 
so this is the beautiful of uh, beautiful aspect of the place you know as the writer has said that kurg is a place where one feels spelled by the charm of nature spelled by the beauty of nature we we remain spellbound uh, you know after seeing these pictures see uh, examples of one of the cottages that is there in kurg another of a cottage another of a, a stay place and uh, the forest area reflected here in right so these are the pictures taken by some of the visitors who uh, uh, really went to see the beauty of the place and uh, the pictures itself uh, you know uh, tell the story that how charming the place is see that's karnataka kur right so children see next paragraph uh, the fiercely independent people of kurg are possibly of greek and arabic descent you know uh, one of the prime lines about the people of kurg is that they are fiercely independent right so they are independent and uh, they are very fierce you know they are not at all afraid of anyone and their descent is probably of greek or arabic right greeks were uh, uh, greeks are really known for their valor and bravery right greeks are known for their bravery same arabic people so as just as one story goes a part of alexander's army moved south along the coast and settled here when return became impractical you know some people from alexander's army wanted to go back right but here it is written that they moved south along the coast and why they settled here in kurk place because they found it impractical to return to their place right so they also get married among us the local and their culture is apparent in the martial traditions marriage religious rites which are distinct from the hindu mainstream you know otherwise most of the people in india are hindus so the people there are of arabic and uh, you know greek descent how we can prove it it can be proved by noticing the cultures of marriage martial traditions and their religious activities it means those religious activities are not as same as hindu people perform their religious activities their activities of uh, ceremonies of marriage death birth etc are same as that of greek and arabic people you know it means they people have come here and they settled here because they found that the return to their place is impractical that was not convenient at that time so they uh, they people got married here in this place right so they settled here now they have families now their uh, you know ancestors have died the people who settled there by getting married here have died but now their children are here and their children are following the same traditions which were taught to them by their parents and grandparents right so the theory of arab origin draws support from the long black coat with an embroidered waist uh, belt worn by the kodavus right known as that is known as kupia it resembles the kifia worn by the arabs and kurds you know uh, what other proof the writer gives the writer gives the proof that how we can support that arab origin means how we can prove that the people in kurg are of arab origin see the dressing see the traditional kurg dress Uh, the man is wearing in the picture the traditional kurg dress so that is a long black colored coat right so uh, the the belt he is uh, having on his waist that is an embroidered one right so this is the culture this is the traditional dress worn by the cordovese people right so it resembles means it's uh, similar as that of 
kifia that is worn by arabs means arabs also wear this kind of dress this type of dress right and arabs dress is known as kifia right next is kurgi homes have a tradition of hospitality and they are more than willing to recount numerous tales of valor related to their sons and fathers it means the people living in kurgi homes they have a good tradition of welcoming their guests right serving their guests in the best possible manner and they are also willing to share uh, the tales share the stories share a number of stories of their sons and fathers that are related to their bravery right stories that are related to their courage and braveries and that to encountered in war it means if you visit some of the homes in kur place you would feel that they people welcome you in a very sophisticated manner they would offer you food and drinks etc and they would also tell you the stories of braveries of their fathers grandfathers their sons etc who had fought in the wars right next is the kurg regiment is one of the most decorated in the indian army right kurg regiment is one of the most decorated how kurgi people are a, uh, you know important part of indian army how and the first chief of the indian army see children underline the fact that is very important the kurg regiment is one of the most decorated in indian army how the first chief of the indian army general karyappa was a kurgi you know as i told you the people of kurg are very brave because you know their ancestors were greeks and arabs right so the people from greek and arabs are surely known for their courage and bravery in fighting in the battles right so being courageous being brave they people are a good part of indian army and the proof is that first chief of the indian army whose name is general karyappa he was also from kurg right even now kodavas are the only people in india permitted to carry firearms without a license now see Uh, the fact the writer has given that uh, you know nobody can uh, keep the firearms uh, without getting a license of the same right the license that is issued by the government so here the writer says that koduvas are the only people in india right koduvas from karnataka they are the only people in india who have been given permission by the government that they can carry fire arms they can carry these arms without any license right next is the river kaveri obtains its water from the hills and forests of kurk that's the line is as simple as that the river kaveri is there it gets its water from the hills and forests of kur place right mahasir a large fresh water fish i hope you have heard about it abound in these waters it means mahasir that that is a large uh, fresh water fish that's called mahasir those fish are uh, numerous in these waters means you would find a lot of mahasir fish in these waters of kur kingfishers dive for their catch while squirrels and langurs drop partially eaten fruit for the mischief of enjoying the splash and ripple effect of the clear water a very beautiful line elephants enjoy being bathed and scrubbed in the river by their mohots mohots means keepers the uh, the people who uh, take care of elephants right so the writer here says that different kinds of creatures enjoy themselves at their best by doing different mischiefs you know kingfishers dive to catch their prey in order to eat something while uh, what do squirrels and langurs do squirrels and langurs intentionally put uh, some partially eaten fruit because they uh, the lot, a lot of vegetation is there uh, numerous trees are there so squirrels langurs get sufficient to eat and uh, you know they also play 
how they play they partially eat a fruit they eat uh, some part of the fruit and they also throw the remaining part in the water so that they could they could enjoy the splash they could enjoy the water splash that would come by throwing certain thing in the water they enjoy water splash and the ripple effect means the bubbles are created in the water right so they want to see these things even animals enjoy the beauty of nature there a very beautiful line in fact so next he says that elephants also enjoy being bathed and scrubbed means to clean themselves in a, a bit hard manner scrubbed in the river by their mohots it means the animal uh, the elephant keepers also take their elephants to uh, these waters and bathe those elephants in the water right so next is the most laid back you know laid back means the one which we can study with a relaxed mind the one which we can look at by taking some time the most laid back individuals become converts to a life of high energy adventure with river rafting canoeing rappelling rock climbing and mountain biking i hope you are uh, well acquainted with these things rock what is rock climbing uh, what is mountain biking right so go to a mountain uh, on a bike climbing a rock and numerous walking trails in the region are a favorite with trekkers right trails you know paths that are created by walking so see uh, you all must be acquainted with these activities many of you must have enjoyed river rafting this is the scenario and it is done in moving waters it is done in the uh, it is done where the water is really in a mood right this is river rafting this is uh, one of the photographs of canoeing a family is there it's canoeing that is a relaxed boat that uh, moves in calm water calm water right next is see this is rappelling means when ropes are tied from one place to the other and one uh, you know reaches the top of a hill by uh, you know taking the help of these ropes right these ropes are tied so that people can enjoy going upwards towards a hill so indeed the scenery offered as uh, you may say more than beautiful like kurg is a place uh, which has the real charm to attract the visitors uh, so as the writer says many people love to trek here in these areas right so mountain biking is also a part of it as uh, the writer says that like these are the favorite with trekkers right next line birds bees and butterflies are there to give you company it means birds bees and butterflies are found in abundant uh, abundance in that area so macaws malabar squirrels langurs and slender lorry slender means thin thin lorries keep a watchful eye from the tree canopy right so canopy you know i told you a kind of covering that provides shade I do however prefer to step aside for wild elephants it means the writer prefers to see the wild elephants there as i told you those are kept by mohots i hope that's clear up to now the last paragraph the climb to the brahmagiri hills brings you into a panoramic view of the entire misty landscape right so when panoramic view you know wide view the view of a wide area of land that we call so the writer says that a climb to the brahmagiri hills that the name of the hills is there brings you to a panoramic view means where one can have a wide view as i showed you in the first picture of the entire misty landscape of kurg we one can see the entire beautiful scenery of kurg by standing on brahmagiri hills right a walk across the rope bridge leads to the 64 acre island of that is nisargamda right so running into buddhist monks from india's largest tibetan settlement at nearby bailakup is a bonus is a bonus means one would attain a view into the buddhist monks areas that is from india's largest tibetan settlement largest tibetan settlement right so at nearby by la cube 
that would that would add to our uh, happiness right that that is a kind of bonus that we get if we visit the place so tibetan settlement right the monks in red uh, ochre and yellow robes are robes means yellow outfits here right these colored outfits are amongst the many surprises that wait to be discovered by visitors searching for the heart and soul of india right here in kog you know so uh, the thing is that the monks here and it means uh, the writer says that the monks that are present here uh, wearing dark orange red uh, yellow robes etc are uh, among the many surprises that wait to be discovered by visitors means visitors initially don't know that uh, they would find a monks there right that buddhist monks would be there and uh, you know the atmosphere uh, children i have been uh, to one of uh, the places where uh, i found monks and you know their religious places and that that is an amazing atmosphere so much of silence is there such a peace and tranquil atmosphere is there that you can't imagine so the writer here says that means uh, these surprises uh, are waiting for the visitor right so those visitors who are searching for the heart and soul of india and that is right here in the kurg place in karnataka right so i hope you have liked the lesson uh, the beauty of kurg must have given you an invitation to visit the place in your vacations so uh, see children the fact file here says that how to reach the place i would not read it for you you need to read it and tell me in our live zoom session so how we can reach the place kurg exactly right and do uh, solve the back exercise questions these are very very easy if you have listened to the video carefully and try to solve this at your end right i'll also share the answer key the very next day thank you for your patient listening thank you stay blessed